Hello, welcome back to Xenotic. Here we have Wolf Knight versus Jatoon. We are on Fuse. Apparently this is a very close game. There's a little bit of a spoiler in the uh, <laughs> description. Thank you to Wolf Knight for sending this over. Um, we have some slight modifications on this. We're running on the Rocket Jump Zone servers uh, for this map. Uh, the HUD is actually not... The HUD, HUD on this server is really, really nice spectator hood but this is a live demo so you can see some of it there but yeah there's a little bit of couple of changes to the um, to the setup that's gone on so I can't quite remember exactly what they all are but on this map it won't matter that the machine guns have been replaced with the arc uh, or crylink's been replaced with something we might not have a crylink which I'm very sad about if we don't have a crylink Love the Crylink. But yeah, Jotun going to start off strong in the first minute. Picking up both the Megas, I think. Wolf Snipe got any Megas? Okay, we can't see what... We'll, uh, so this, the items are slightly different. Really cool setup here. We can't quite see what... Uh, yeah, but Jotun must have picked up both Megas. Now he's got to try and defend a little bit. And yeah, we've got the arc instead of the Crylink here. This is more of an LG-like thing. Um, oh, nice shot there from Jatoon managing to connect. But Wolf Snipe manages to connect nicely with a full rocket. Jatoon kind of stuck in this corner and a beautiful shot. Yeah, I do like the changes like the trails with and stuff like that. Also, marking when someone's dead and chatting. I don't know if that's vanilla, actually. I know it happens with Clan Arena. I think I just respawn before I actually say dead. So the arc, the LG in this game, does have a little bit of a float. I'm not quite sure the exact settings that uh, Champ's got it set up to do. Uh, it usually has a little bit of a float, but this one looks like it's either very close to zero or just dead accurate to the... Uh, shot. Incredible. Oh, that's beautiful. So Wolf Snipe saw that the uh, hit marker was coming up because he's recently hit Jatoon. So him falling into the lava is considered to be Wolf Snipe's damage. Um, and so he knew that Jatoon was down there, watched the exit, shot him up into the air with a rocket and then shot him straight with the next. Beautiful play there from Wolf Snipe. He is quite low. But he's gonna need to. Uh, he's gonna need to get some armor as well as health. But Jatoon looks really low. Jatoon just really not engaging in this. Had the pleasure of playing Jatoon um, two days ago, actually, on uh, Arrow Walk. It's a good game. It's a good game. He's a very consistent player. From uh, I haven't cast any. I can't think of any demos I've cast with him. So I certainly haven't cast too many. But from actually just playing with him, I have played with him a couple of times before, I believe. But, uh... Yeah, very consistent player. Like, throughout the whole game, there's no sort of... I th that was a mad shot. It really incredibly was amazing. Took my, took my words right out of my mouth. Um, I can't remember what I was going to say. Oh, lovely shot there from Wolf Snipe. Oh, and the fixed impressive uh, token on this, on these, where um, it doesn't matter if you switch weapon, because uh, Xenotic has instant weapon switch. Everybody switches from rockets to rail just constantly, or mortar, depending on where you are. You kind of just swap in between the two all the time. It means you basically never see an impressive, which is two rails in a row. But yeah, that's uh, that medal's also fixed. Seven to three, the scoreline though. Wolf Snipe playing his traditional sit around, tries to get that set up, but can't quite get the mines down. Those electro mines. Nice shot on the flick. Jatoo managing to dodge over the top. Of the I must have used some sort of propellant to get up that high. The blaster or something. Oh, and Wolf Snipe's down to nine health. He needs to not fall in that lava, which does ten damage a tick. Instant death there. 
Waits for the health to come back up. He's looking at the armor. He knows when the armor's up then. So both players seem to have a good amount of timing. Wolf Snipe probably has slightly better timing. Lovely shot there. Jatoon just getting caught out by Wolf Snipe's movement. Uh, yeah. Wolf Snipe probably has a bit better timing. Like exact timing. But Jotun definitely has yeah, maybe the five seconds. Oh, look at that. He didn't see him. Jatoon just completely didn't see Wolf Snipe right there. Beautiful play from Wolf Snipe. He's managed to wait. The patience on that. You you don't off... His mouse disconnect. Um, probably ran off of his mouse pad. Seemed like a running off of the mouse pad issue. Couldn't bring the mouse down. Um, yeah. The, the, the patience in that moment for Wolf Snipe. Absolutely incredible. Uh, you, you really don't often see... Um, see players in duel in these sort of games with that patience in these games oh I love it when we see someone pull out the uh, pull out the the blaster kill there yeah you don't often see people with the patience in these games because they're so fast paced you're kind of y your brain goes into a mode of super fast pace Wolf Snipe manages to protect that from himself a little bit unfortunately trying to get the fast exit through the teleporter which would have allowed himself to uh, to move on a little bit quick get out just run straight into Jatoon they're playing a very clever game most people would try to get out of that situation but J Wolf Snipe just waiting knowing that Jatoon was just gonna fire a second second rocket and that staying was the right move did keep him alive slightly longer <laughs> He did manage to just pin Jatoon right to the edge. What on earth is this? I get it. But just go through. Don't don't try again for extra speed, really. It's not that worth it. Unless you know your opponent is right there. But at that point, you've basically just faked them to force themselves down. And if you know your opponent's right there, don't go that way. <laughs> Maybe. If you don't, If you don't want to engage... Oh, lovely shooting from Jatoon there. Managed to trap Wolf Snipe down on the lower section. Get a lot of damage. Big damage coming out from these... Uh, from these... What's it, what can we see? We can see damage per weapon, yeah. So we've got a lot... Of what we got? Jatoon doing a hell of a lot of damage with the rockets. Much more than Wolf Snipe. The Electro... Jatoon actually not doing too much damage with the Electro. But he's managed to snag... Uh, it says zero kills with the Electro, but literally I'm sure I saw one come up on the... Oh, well. Maybe it was... Uh, maybe it was the wrong way around and I misread it. And it was an old old marker. Nice little LG pin from Wolf Snipe. Not a lot of knockback on this arc. Um, I think it is actually called the LG in this yeah not not a huge amount of knockback but you can still pin a little bit lovely movement there wolf snipe moving back and forth back and forth he needs to pick up uh, um not just armor but also weapons jatoon doesn't probably wasn't faked out by that uh that blaster shot wolf snipe making an incredible blaster shot play but i doubt uh, Jatoon while well, racing through there would have actually heard it wouldn't have really bothered about it but instead Wolf Snipe just uh, drawing attention to himself probably by being bright pink just by standing there we do of course force the colours most most people do at least force the colours I just play with them uh, with recording let people choose their own colours. So Jatoon does play pink, which most likely means he forces other people to be pink. It's a pretty good, uh, pretty good colour for people to be. Green, apparently, technically the best. I know I've talked about this before. Wolf Snipe is definitely playing for overtime here. Yeah, he knows he's got the stack, but he'd rather go into overtime than... Oh, beautiful shot there from Wolf Snipe. 
He wants to burn down Jatoon. He won't push in, though. We know Wolf Snipes' playstyle. He's not going to push in right now. But yeah, he's just holding back. Making use of the verticality. Goes up. Jatoon's going to push through. Jatoon wants this. Jatoon absolutely wants this. And now the overtime happens. Two minutes. Wolf Snipes going to take a frag. Jatoon potentially putting himself in a bad position there. There is two minutes, though. So Jatoon will know. Try and get out. Even with that two frags, it's still make-upable. Jatoon just needs to try to get uh, get his stack back together and come back in. He's going away, trying to find it. He just needs two kills. It's not too difficult. If you can catch someone off guard, there's the first one. And now, will he get the second one as Wolf Snipe pops through this? Always a dangerous hole to go through. Nice shot from Wolf Snipe. It's incredible. We were waiting for two minutes for anything to really pop off. But then, boom. Loads in a few seconds. This map giving a lot of frags uh, in quick succession. Neither of these players super pushy. You can't be super pushy when you're playing against Wolf Snipe. It is just impossible. As uh, a, a big push from Jatoon does tie it up. But it was a well-timed push. It was a push when he knew that he had Wolf Snipe on the back foot. Uh, because you can't just... If you push against Wolf Snipe, you're most likely just going to run into a trap that he's setting. If you're just mad pushing all the time. Whereas Jatoon, you could see there, he just waited until it was the right time. Just until... We sort of saw Wolf Snipe back off a little bit. And then Jatoon went. Perfect timing on that one. Just as he was not quite in the position to take it. You see, you do not have necks. Wolf Snipe clearly not quite realising what position he's in. <laughs> Still wants the necks, just naturally. Just going to go with Rockets. Forgets LG and more overtime is added. Jatoon, oh, Wolf Snipe tries to blaster away from himself at one health or something, I think I saw there. Jatoon does actually get the kill, I'm surprised by. I thought that uh, Wolf Snipe was going to have fragged himself there with the blaster shot. But, oh, lovely blaster shot, but unfortunately Jatoon is just there waiting. Mega's up. Wolf Snipe being very careful, knows where, uh, knows where Jatoon is. is something you'll see a lot. Wolf Snipe won't look around in certain places. A lot of players would have checked every angle there if they were trying to be careful. But Wolf Snipe just kind of didn't need to. Nice shot up there. Jatoon now pushing in. Wolf Snipe trying to just get away. I think Wolf Snipe's plan here is if we can push it into triple overtime if we absolutely need to. Jatoon's trying to Trying to keep Wolf Snipe on the back foot. It's difficult on this map. There's so little health and armor available. One mega, no mega armor. Mega health only 50 armors. Wolf Snipe tying it up in overtime number two. Makes the blaster up for the mega. Oh, lovely shot there from Wolf Snipe. We've got 30 seconds left on this map. Wolf Snipe probably going to pick up the Mega right now. He does indeed. Stays around a little bit longer than uh, maybe advised. But he's got Jatoon on the back foot. He knows he's got Jatoon pushing him. And now he can just wait here. Perfect play from Wolf Snipe. Waiting for Jatoon to come to him. Spamming both sides of the pillar. Forcing Jatoon to basically come around or die. You know, try or die anyway. And Jatoon going to go down three frags through... GG, will there be one last frag? Don't think so. Wolf Snipe doesn't quite land the frag on that one. An incredible set of shots to finish that one off. Look at those items right at the end there. So more Megas from Jatoon. Less armors. Wolf Snipe managing to put out... Uh, oh, sorry. No, other way around. Wolf Snipe got... They swapped. Damn it. <laughs> uh, yeah, Wolf Snipe. More Megas, less armors. Which, yeah, a lot more damage though. Um, Jatoon managed to make the most of the uh, damage he was doing. 
fantastic play from both these players. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you to Wolfsite for sending me so many demos. And I will see you in uh, the next one of these, if you will be so inclined. Play pickups, play duels, enjoy your games. Cheers.